In all of the videos so far, we've been looking at finding the probability that z, which is a continuous random variable, is less than some observed value. In the next few videos, we're going to be working backwards. In the first part of this question, it says the probability that z is less than a is equal to 0 0.9082. So this time we're being given the probability or the area trapped under the curve, and we need to find the value of a. So let's do a little sketch. I'm going to put a line up here, and this line is going to be the value a. We know that the area trapped under the curve to the left of this line is given now of, as 0 0.9082. So this right here is the area trapped under the curve, or the probability. Another way of reading this now is phi of a is equal to 0 0.9082. All we need to do is look this up in our z table to find the value of a. So let's look at that then, and we'll find that. So what we want is 9082. So here we are, 9082. So this value right here, the value of a, is going to be 1.33, and that's positive. So if we take it back to what we were looking at in the last video, we could say the probability of z, our continuous random variable, being less than 1.33, is equal to 0 0.9082, or the probability of z being less than 1.33 standard deviations above the mean is equal to approximately 91%. So there we go, nice and straightforward. Okay, let's look at the next one. We're now being told the probability of z being greater than a is equal to 0 0.0314. So this time we have a small area. And I'm going to place this on here. So what I'm going to do now is write A. A is just here. The area trapped under the curve to the right is given to be 0 0.0314. From our earlier work, we know the area trapped under the curve in total is equal to 1 unit. Therefore, if I look at this area to the left of A, this area is going to be 1 minus the value here. 1 minus that value is going to be 0 0.9686. Therefore, what we can now write is phi of a will be equal to 0 0.9686. What we'll do is just read this off and get our value. As you'll see in later videos, if the probability of z being greater than a is above one half, we're going to have a negative number. If it's less than one half, we'll have a positive number. And that kind of makes sense, as the area trapped under the curve to the right of zero is going to give us a half. So let's look at this number, and that's going to give us a positive number. So 9686. So where are we? We're going to be down here somewhere. So there we go, 9686. Okay, and we get the value that a is going to be 1.86. So what we can now do, uh, let's go the other way. Uh, where was I? There we go. So what we've got then is now that A is going to be equal to 1.86. If you wanted, taking it back to the last video, you could now say that the probability of Z being less than 1.86 standard deviations above the mean is going to be equal to 0.9686. Or, alternatively, you can say the probability of z being greater than 1.86 standard, standard deviations above the mean is equal to 0 0.0314. OK, let's look at the next one. The probability that z is less than a is 0 0.3372. Now, if we consider that value, that's a small value and certainly less than one half. So what we're going to have is some value around here, and we'll place it on like so. So let's put that there. It's not hugely accurate in terms of where I've put it, but never mind. Let's just sketch this up. This right here is going to be the value of A. If we consider the area to the right of A, what we're going to have is 1 minus this value. So all of the area trapped under the curve to the right of A is going to be 1 minus 0 0.3372. So this area right here will be 0 0.66, what are we going to have, Double six two eight. 
If we find now phi of a and set it equal to this, we can find now the value of a. The difference being we're going to make this negative. If you consider now just a quick sketch, if I went round the other side of this curve, what we would see is the following. We'd see a standard normal and we would have this point right here. This would be a and I would make this positive. We are interested now in this area right here. So we've got all of this. So what I'm going to do now is look up and I'm going to say phi of a is going to be equal to 0 0.6628. Whatever this value is, I'm simply going to make negative and place it there. So let's look at our table. What do we want? Double 6628. So we're going to be somewhere down here. So where's double 6628? Double 6628. There we go. So we've got 0 0.42 and we know that that needs to be negative. So let's put that on. So this is going to be now equal to minus 0 0.42. So we found that value in that way. A few different ways you can look at that. You don't have to see it in that way. It's entirely up to you. It really is. You take your pick on how you want to view it. Okay, let's look at the next one. The probability that z is greater than a is equal to 0 0.6. 879. This is a case where we have the probability of z being greater than a is more than one half. Therefore, we're going to have a negative number. So if we put this up, what we'll do is just put a line and we'll have something that looks a bit like this. So the area trapped under the curve now to the left, uh, sorry, to the right of this line right here is going to be 0 0.6879. So all of this area right here is going to be 0 0.6879. 8, 7, 9. So this is A right here. And again, the way I like to look at this is if we were around the back, what would it look like? So we have this value right here, and then we'd have A here, and I want the area. So what I'm going to do is just sketch all of this up. So now if I do phi of A and set this equal to 0 0.6879, all we need to do is find the negative equivalent of that value. This right here will give me the area trapped under the curve to the left of A, which is exactly the same area as this. Therefore, if that's positive A, this one is going to be negative A. So let's look it up in a table. So we want 6879. So we'll come down here and we'll find that. Let's find that. 6879. So we've got 0 0.49. So we need to make that negative. So this point right here is going to now be equal to minus 0 0.49. So lots of different ways that you can think about those. In the next few videos, we'll look at alternative approaches and then go from there. So in this video, we've looked at finding the value of A given the probability.